All right, back at it on the Turbo Camaro today. Um, did figure some things out. In the last video, I talked about the brakes needed to bled a little more because they seemed a little soft. Well, the long story short is I did have them uh, bled out all the way. What it actually is, I'll show you guys a couple things here and explain what's going on. You can see I run the, it's actually a BMR manual brake kit. Um, so it gets rid of the booster. So, I'll show you what the pedal's doing here. Well, it's going to be tough to see, but basically I hit the pedal, it goes down about an inch. You can feel it start to apply. Well, it's just a little bit soft. It goes about midway, it's fully applied, but if I push on the pedal really hard, it'll go almost to the floor, about an inch off the floor. What's actually going on is I have four piston calipers in the rear, four piston strange calipers in the front. So I actually have the same calipers front and rear. So four pistons per wheel on all four wheels. Well, that requires a lot of fluid volume. So the master cylinder has to be able to provide a lot of volume. I have the smaller bore master cylinder. It's the one inch, a hundred thousand, no, one inch, 30 thousandths, where the one that Strange recommends for these brakes would be one inch, 130 thousandths. So a hundred thousandths bigger bore on the master cylinder to provide us more volume. So it's exactly what's going on and it makes sense. When I added the Strange front brakes, I noticed the pedal got a little bit softer, but not much. I mean, just a little bit softer because it required more fluid volume from the two piston to those four piston. Then we went to the, from a single piston in the rear to now four piston rear calipers. Now the pedal's too soft. Went on Strange website, did some reading. Sure enough, they recommend the larger bore master cylinder for this reason. So I went ahead and got it ordered up. Um, now, if we were just running the four piston calipers in the front or just the four piston calipers in the rear, we'd be okay. But it's since we're running four piston up front and four piston in the rear, that's exactly what Strange says is that's too much volume for your master cylinder. You have to upgrade it. So learn something new every day. Um, I actually kind of knew this and was hoping it wouldn't be the case, but I knew it in the back of my mind because we ran into the exact same problem with one of our circle track cars when we upgraded the rear brakes. Um, we went from a single piston to a dual piston in the rear and had this exact same issue. So it is something that happens. Um, been up some new brake lines here. Since I'm going to be replacing the master cylinder, I'm going to go ahead and replace these lines back here. Um, they just don't look the best. I don't like the way they're routed. Um, that's something I probably did, well, about 14 years ago because the date on the master cylinder is 14 years old. So, yeah, we did that a long time ago, and I'm just going to straighten it up. It's not an excuse. I should have did it better, but I was young and probably in a hurry to get to the track or something. So I'm going to redo those. I got the new ones bent up. It gives me an excuse to do that, and we'll have this master cylinder hopefully Monday or Tuesday. We'll see how that goes, but yeah, I just wanted to up update you guys and kind of give you guys some information. If you are going to four piston calipers on all four wheels, make sure you got a heck of a master cylinder to put out that kind of volume. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a soft pedal, and it's just not going to work very well. They do in get into more detail about pivot position. Um... I'm not too concerned about that. You guys can look that information up on Strange's website. The kit that I have, I've actually already modified the pedal for I can have multiple different pivot positions. So we can still play around with that, but we'll start with getting the master cylinder on there. I did fire it up yesterday, let it run, let it get some heat in the motor, check the tranny fluid, added some tranny fluid. I tested the... Uh, trans brake with the dump solenoid that is working nothing is leaking but i didn't have the car on the ground to test the uh bump side of it so once we get these brakes finished up that'll be what we attack next 
And uh, hopefully this helps you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep it saucy.